Hey guys, what's going on? It's Alex Vanover back with Divine Design Crafts for one of my usual Friday night lives. So thanks for coming to my craft room and hanging out. Um, if you guys follow me on Facebook, you know that last week you guys got a chance to vote which craft I did live and you guys ended up voting for epoxied phone grips. They turned out so, so fun. So if you haven't seen that live video yet, make sure that you go check that out um, in my live video playlist because it was a lot, a lot of fun. But the second highest vote for craft to do last week was actually to put HTV on an umbrella. So that's what we're gonna do this week. I have this super fun um, umbrella that I got from the Target dollar spot, and that is what we're going to use to put HTV on. So if you'll give me just a second, um, if you're joining me, let me know where you're from. And if you can hear me okay and see me okay, I am gonna share this video around so that a few of our friends on social media can join us. Turn my volume down. Where are you guys from? I don't know if it's appropriate for you to do HTV on an umbrella or not, um, but here it has been crazy rainy and gross and nasty. So I thought the perfect way to bring myself up would be to put it on an umbrella. Hey, from Texas, thanks for joining me, Princess Disa. Let me find my video here. It has just been so gross. I'm from Cincinnati and I was talking to my mom who still lives there today. Oh good, I'm glad you can hear me. Hi from California, thanks for joining me. It's a little earlier for you guys. I'm always a night out with my crafts, almost always. So um, <laughs> here I am at like 10.30 at night going live, but that's okay, because that's what I'd be doing anyways. Give me just a moment here, folks. Here we go. Here's what I was looking for. Are you all having the April showers that are supposed to bring May flowers? Because we certainly are. It is definitely, definitely going strong here. I had to bust out my rain boots for the first time this spring today, so that was kind of fun. Just another moment, guys, and we will get right to it. This one's gonna be pretty quick and easy. It's definitely not a hard craft at all. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. And I didn't realize how easy this was going to be. So I'm excited. Um, we're actually gonna be using a material that I've never worked with before. It's called Caesar Easy Weed Extra. And um, it is actually meant to stick to nylon, which is what most umbrellas are made of. So I think that's gonna be really cool because I haven't tried that before. And just to kind of contrast it, I have some um, regular easy weed to put on there too. And if we can get that to stick, I'd like to be able to see side by side what the difference is on an umbrella. So I think it's gonna be pretty neat. All right, folks, now everybody knows that we're live, so that's awesome. Good deal. So I'm gonna stick my computer to the side here, and I'm gonna show you guys what I have. So like I was telling you just a moment ago, in case you're just now joining me, welcome. Thanks for coming to my craft room and hanging out. My name's Alex Vanover, and I'm with Divine Design Crafts. And um, if you guys follow me on Facebook, and if you don't, you definitely should. I um, post a lot on Facebook. But I let all of my followers vote last week what they wanted to see in my live video. And so they chose a monogrammed and, well, monogrammed, epoxied, and glittered phone grips. So this is the craft that we did last week. Um, if you guys haven't seen that video yet, it's in my live videos playlist. It's super fun, so go check that out. But while they were voting for this craft, they also, the, the second place vote was how to put HGV on an umbrella. And since the weather has been super gross lately um, here in Louisville, I thought that this would be the perfect time to try putting HGV on an umbrella. So the umbrella we're gonna be using is just a $3 umbrella from the Target Dollar Spot. It has this kind of cute little orange corally pattern, and then it has one of these really cute handles. I love when they have like the J handle instead of the, just like the regular solid handle. So I think this is gonna look really, really cute. 
And because umbrellas are made with nylon, the ideal um, HTV for that is Caesar Caesar Easy Weed Extra. And I've never worked with Extra before, so I'm excited to do that. Um, I have my Caesar Extra in navy, which I haven't weeded yet. It's just a monogram um, of my initials. And then I have some arrow frames that are um, in regular Easy Weed. So we're gonna press both of those while you guys are on live with me, and we're gonna see how they look and how it does. And if we can't tell a difference about how the HTV is sticking online, or while we're online here on YouTube, then I'll have to post later and let you guys know how it holds up because as you can imagine since umbrellas get opened and closed and opened and closed a lot I would imagine it would take kind of a beating um, for even for HTV like that's kind of a lot of use so I'll have to let you guys know how that goes so I'm gonna move my camera down just a little bit while I weave my design so you guys can see what I'm doing all right should make it a little bit better perfect okay so I'm gonna weed my design here first. If you're just now joining me, welcome. Thanks for coming to my craft room. Let me know where you're from if I haven't heard from you yet. I heard um, one person, Princess Disa, is from Texas and there's somebody here from California. What colors does extra come in? That's a good question. Um, I remember when, off, off the top of my head, I can't tell you all the colors that it comes in, but I know that it's one of those lines that is a little bit smaller. So I know that it had the neutrals, like black, white, and navy. That's why I chose navy. And then maybe some of the primary colors, uh, like red and yellow and blue, but there wasn't a ton of options for extra. But we can look that up when we're finished. If you'll remind me, I'm happy to jump on my laptop and tell you. And it's not, extra is one that I've been wanting to try for a while. It's not like a super commonly used one. You're from Michigan. Welcome, Angela. Thanks for joining me. Um, extra is not a product that's used all the time. So that's why I wanted to take an opportunity to um, use it. So I did notice when I weeded it that it is it feels significantly thinner than Easy Weed. Um, it definitely has that greasy feel on the back of it, kind of like Stretch does. So that'll be really neat. You're welcome. So there's my monogram that I'm gonna do. So this should stick for sure because this is the Easy Weed Extra, which is made for nylon. That's why we're using Easy Weed Extra is because it's made to work with nylon. I, I looked up just a few minutes ago on the Caesar site that Easy Weed is not listed as something that's supposed to work with nylon. So we're going to see how this sticks. It may not stick at all, um, but I just wanted to try it and see what we could get it to do. So I think this will be a cool little experiment. I love going live with you guys because I feel like I get to do like a science experiment. <laughs> see what, see what's going on. A lot of, I try a lot of stuff for the first time with you and it's a lot of fun. So I love this C color, it's kind of washed out, but um, there, it's a better picture. So it's a really, really light mint. It's a super pretty color that I just got the other day. You guys, you know something? It is really dangerous for my wallet to work at 651 Vinyl. Um, I love my job, it is so amazing, I could never complain, but I'm telling you what, it is rough. <laughs> I Every time I see a new pretty color, I'm like, oh no, here we go. <laughs> It's tough, but luckily it's always there. So I try not to buy it right away. Try to figure out if I actually need it first. But sometimes you just need it. <laughs> it is a lot of fun. All right. So this is one of those crisscross arrow um, things. You can put a four letter word, like you can, you can spell the letters out here. I'm not going to do that this time. I just wanted to put this on a second panel just to see how the easy weed sticks. And then this is going to be a arrow monogram frame to go around my easy weed extra monogram. Well, I do waste a little bit of vinyl. Um, I am one of those people that, although I try to be conservative, I do not cut down every single piece um, just because I don't think that I'm gonna do anything small enough to use it later. So if I don't feel like I'm gonna use it later, I just let it go. But lots of people are, are like that. They don't waste a square inch of vinyl, but I don't worry about that too, too much. 
I feel like sometimes, um, if you guys haven't seen Troy's vlog on valuing your time, um, that is a really good explanation for some of that kind of stuff. All right, so here's my arrows. I just have to dig out the little pieces um, on the inside of the arrows and we'll be ready to roll. Even get to use my mint pin pen. I'm all color coordinated today. You waste a lot yourself. I try, you know, I try not to be like over the top about it, of course. I always cut it off, but my, my, um, my like little roll of C, I just cut off the whole top for what I needed to cut out. So I don't worry too much about the, too much about it. Plus half the time I forget to use my script. Oh, cool. That's neat that you're left-handed too, Angela. I always forget that I even have scraps. Does anybody else do that? I try to keep my scrap bin fairly small so that I don't waste a ton of vinyl, but then I forget to look in it anyway. <laughs> So I try not to keep too much behind just for that reason too. So you guys, I have been telling you for a couple weeks that I had some crazy life changes going on and they are all still happening and they are all still good, but I'm finally ready to tell you. <laughs> you forget all the time. Good. I'm glad I'm not the only one because I like try to be, <laughs> I try to be conservative and then I don't remember they're there anyway. So it definitely feels like a little bit ironic. So I've been telling you guys that the reason I've been going live a lot is because life is pretty crazy and that is still true, but we found out earlier today that um, you do use your scraps. Well, good for you, Angela. Go team. <laughs> maybe maybe that's what I should um, decorate my Cricut with is like, remember, remember to check the scraps. Um, but my husband and I found out earlier this week that we are closing on our new house this Friday. So I am super excited for this move. Um, I have never owned a house before, so this is a whole new process for me and for my husband as well. And you guys, it has been fun, but it is like, it is crazy. I get calls from people every single day trying to verify something or work on something. And so that's why I haven't had time to record videos um, for you guys lately. But you guys, my house has the coolest craft room. I'm so freaking excited. So right now, as you can see, I share my craft room with my kitty cat. Um, so I can't leave my door shut for too long periods of time just because of course he has to get in here. He also eats his bowls or over that way um, in this room. So I'm so excited because I have like a room with a vaulted ceiling that is huge that I'm going to be using for my craft room. And you guys, the ideas are like, they're like keeping me up at night. I'm so excited. I want to do a cup series for you guys. I want to do an acrylic blank series for you. I have all these exciting ideas and I cannot wait to make it happen. So we found out earlier this week that we close this coming Friday and then we're not going to and move in for a couple weeks we still have a few more weeks here in the house we're renting so we're not in a super big rush so I don't know when I'm going to get in there thank you so much um I don't know exactly when we're going to get in there but you guys I am like so excited to show you all the stuff that we have um all the stuff that I have in my head to do for you I'm so pumped so um bear with me for a few more weeks on these live videos since I'm going to be closing tomorrow or excuse me since we're closing next Friday I'm going to try to have a recorded video for you um because I'll probably be a little bit not too focused Friday night um, I'll be super excited we'll probably go eat dinner in our new house um but as soon as I get my setup done and I get it sent over to the house and fixed up I will definitely be doing it again do hand stretches all day before <laughs> yeah so Angela said to do hand stretches the day before for the mountain of paperwork yeah we are definitely the closing process I'm not too excited about um but the actual owning the house is so so exciting we love it it's perfect it's super affordable and it's not too far from where we are now it's in the same suburb of Louisville that we're in now so we're not going too far away which is really really nice and then we have our families coming to help us to actually move in a couple weeks, but we should have all the small stuff over there 
before they get here, we're just going to use their help with furniture. So it's all falling into place and it's so exciting and great, um, but it is a little crazy. So bear with me for the next few weeks as we uh, walk through this transition, but you guys, I'm so excited. The reason I have never done a cup series for you in this, um, in this house is because I have to leave the door open for my cat penguin, but I need to be able to keep my cup turning so that I can use the same cup throughout the whole kind of series. And um, right now I have to move my cup turner to my guest room anytime I I want to do a tumbler and that's kind of a pain in the butt it's not a good lighting it's not a good spot to take a video so I decided I would wait it out until I figured it out and now we have so I'm super super excited so anyway now that my stuff is all weeded I'm gonna um, give me just a moment guys I'm gonna switch you over to my big tripod so you can see the heat press while we press this on the umbrella all right it might get a little crazy you guys I'm gonna have to move you around and fix my sound and do a few things. If you're just not joining me, thanks for coming to say hello. Welcome to my craft room, which will soon be bigger and better. And I'm so excited. Here we go. Got you guys all up to my bigger tripod. So you're going to see this cord hanging down from my shirt. That's my microphone. <laughs> so don't be alarmed. All right. So my heat press is already heated up. And when you press, um, when you press Easy Weed Extra or regular Easy Weed, you are going to press those at 305 degrees for 10 to 15 seconds. So luckily those settings are the same, which makes it pretty easy. So I'm going to start. Here is my umbrella in case you guys haven't seen it yet. I think it's going to be super cute. Let me grab my designs here. Okay, I think I'm gonna start on a different panel of my umbrella and I wanna press these arrows by themselves first just to see how the easy weed sticks. So let's try that. I will do the arrows. What do you guys think? Do you think over top of where the little Velcro goes or should I pick a different panel? Give me your thoughts in the comments real quick. Just pick a random one, I don't know and decide. So it seems like you guys don't have too strong of a preference. So I'm going to stick my first design over top of where the Velcro is. You think a different panel. Okay. Angela says different panel. So we're going to go to a different one. All right. So here's just a random one. I'm not going to put it. Well, I guess I'll put it toward the bottom, but not quite at the bottom. That way it's got plenty of fabric to adhere to. So here's where we got it right here. So I've already took a look at how I was gonna do this and I'm gonna keep my umbrella open and I'm gonna lay it on the corner of the heat press like this. And as you can see, I already have my 10 by 10 pressing pillow underneath it. So that way I am raising the panel of the umbrella above the metal spokes. They're still gonna have to go in the press a little bit, but this should be fine because the pillow is all the way underneath my design. So I'm gonna hold it on there and slowly bring my press down. Hopefully this doesn't bend it too bad. I didn't think about bending the spokes of the umbrella. See, you guys, I told you it was an experiment. <laughs> We'll see how this goes. So I don't have it all the way locked down. I'm just holding it so that it doesn't bend up too bad. Okay, let's see if it held. So, so far the color looks the same. So that's good, the heat didn't damage that. And it's stuck. I don't know how well you guys can tell, but it's not very well. Um, it's not very well adhered. So I'm gonna press it one more time for a few seconds to try to set it in there. And it looks like the gentle pressure was good enough that it didn't bend the spokes of the umbrella. So that's important too. So maybe we'll just set it for another few seconds or so. And I'm sure if you guys are using an iron at home, 
Actually, put it in the comments if you're using an iron or a heat press because I'd be interested to know what you guys use. But I would think this would be just as easy with an iron as a heat press just because you could really get between the spokes really easily. So I don't know that it would be any harder to do that with, one, with an iron or not. So there's one panel. You use a heat press, Angela? Okay. Cool. What do the rest of you guys use? Let me know. All right, so we're going to pick a different panel and we're going to put the monogram down first. So maybe we'll go directly across from the arrows, which is here. So we will go right here. So I'm just guessing on the center. I don't know exactly where it is, but I'll just take a little guess. Maybe I'll move it down just a hair. I want it to be toward the bottom of the umbrella so that um, I'm carrying it or, you know, when somebody sees me walking with it, you can see the monogram hanging down. If you brought it up toward the top, I'd be worried nobody would see it. So that's where I have it placed for now. So hopefully that looks good. Got all the pieces weeded out and everything. Good deal. All right, guys. So we're going to press our first. Whoops. Did it fall off? We're going to press our first piece of Easy Weed Extra if I can keep it on the umbrella. Is anyone else planning on making themselves an umbrella this spring? You just might need it. I decided this was a good one because it was only $3 from the Target dollar spot. So I figured even if I mess this up, I don't really have much to lose. All right, so we have that down. We have our pressing pillow on there. I'm going to hold it down. We'll probably let it go the full 15 seconds. And so again, I'm just holding the handle I press down. I wouldn't normally do that, but this way I'm not bending the spokes of my umbrella quite as bad, hopefully. And I have a pressing pillow underneath to make sure that the platen gets great contact with the design. All right, guys, so it looks pretty good. The, it has some bubbles onto the carrier sheet. Let's see what this looks like. Easy Weed Extra is a hot or a cold peel, so you can do it whatever way you like. And so far, it looks really good. It looks like it did adhere a lot easier and faster than the Easy Weed so far, um, and it feels really thin. I wonder how it feels in compared to my arrows. The arrows seem pretty thin too. So, so far I don't see much of, oh no, I just missed your comment, whoever that was, I'm sorry. Cute, don't you love it, isn't that fun? Okay, thanks Katie, so glad you're here. So, the last step that I have, I have to get rid of these little pieces, is to put this little arrow monogram frame around my monogram. And we'll see how it sticks again. Somebody had like a longer comment and I missed it, so if you wanna post it again, I promise I'll watch. I'm sorry. YouTube, they, they take the comments away so fast. I'm not looking at my phone, I miss it. Oh no, I got these two little rebels that won't go away. Go away. There we go, much better. Okay, so here's our monogram frame. It's that same sea mint color and I'm gonna put it right around my monogram. Try to get it as close to centered as I can. But it may not be perfect, and that's okay. So it's just for me. Okay. So here's what we've got. Let's see how it presses. It's a little bit of an odd shape to work with, but actually it's not too hard. All right, so I'm just gonna hold it down. Maybe I'll just do the first five seconds or seven seconds, and then I'll peel the carrier sheet off and heat it the rest of the way. Hmm, easy with extra looks like it has a little bit of a wrinkle in it. So hopefully it does okay. All right, let's press for like another 10 seconds or so and see how it does. 
Oh my gosh, my umbrella's out of control. There we go. All right. So what do you guys think of this umbrella project? Is this something you wanted to try? Or something you might try now? I think this would be a, such a cute gift. For an adult or for a kid, um, even with matching rain boots, I think this would be super fun. All right, so here's how it turned out. There's my monogram with the frame. So the monogram inside the navy is the Easy Weed Extra, and around the outside, that is, the color is called C. That's just regular Easy Weed. And then on the opposite panel, over here, I have another design. In case you guys are just now joining me, I have just like some crossed arrows. So both seem to stick really well, and I can't see much of a difference um, in the Easy Weed Extra and the regular Easy Weed. The reason I wanted to use Extra is because Easy Weed is not rated to work with nylon, according to Caesar. But Caesar Easy Weed Extra is, that's mainly, that's mainly what its purpose is. So I wanted to see if I could tell a difference in getting it on an umbrella versus the Easy Weed. Um, so, so far, I don't see anything. You've been curious about trying this with your black umbrella from Disney. That's a good one. Um, I would definitely caution you to be careful, of course, because you don't want to ruin it. But, I mean, I would think it would work just fine. And in a, minute, in a minute, I remember somebody asking me for the colors that Extra comes in. So I'll look it up in just a second. But so far, I don't see much of a difference. Um, I talked to Troy about this project because I wasn't sure what all it would take. And he suggested that since this is a cheaper umbrella, it's possible that this nylon is a little easier to work with because it probably doesn't have that waterproof coating the way that some of the more expensive, nicer umbrellas would. Um, so I don't know if that will ever make a difference if you use a more expensive umbrella, if that coating will make the HTV hard to stay. But so far, it looks good to me. So I'll keep you guys posted um, probably on Instagram or Facebook as to how she wears um, and how it weathers this spring because I'm sure we'll be needing a lot of umbrellas. Um, so make sure that you guys check me out on Instagram and Facebook. I'll link those below in a couple of minutes. Um, and my name's Alex Vanover if you're just now joining me. So welcome to my craft room. Thanks for coming by. And we just finished putting a TV on an umbrella. So before we go, I am going to check on the colors that Easy Weed Extra comes in. Somebody asked me that toward the beginning of the video, and I promised you guys to find out. Something else I thought about, which I didn't end up doing, um, but a lot of umbrellas come in these little bags. So if you were nervous about what HTV you need to put on your umbrella, like um, Angela, your Disney umbrella, if you have an umbrella bag that's made of the same material, it might be good to try your HTV out on this one. That way, in case it doesn't work or doesn't stick very well, you haven't ruined the actual umbrella itself. So just a thought for you there, this is my little, <laughs> I saw the tag on it, it was only $3. So if you need an umbrella to try this on, the Target Dollar Spot is an awesome place to get that kind of stuff. I'm gonna put you guys back on my other tripod, so bear with me for just a second. There we go, I'll get you back on there. So let me log back on my computer and we'll take a look at the 651 vinyl light and see what else they carry. You actually have a spare sleeve, look at that. So that would be perfect. That way you can just check and see, make sure that you like the color, you know, all that kind of stuff. I think it never hurts to have a practice round if you can. So that makes the perfect practice. So if you guys are enjoying this video, if you wouldn't mind giving me a big thumbs up, click that like button, that would be awesome. That lets me know that you guys like the content that I'm coming up with. So I'm checking the 651 vinyl site to see what colors Easy Weed Extra comes in. Okay. Yeah, so there's not a ton of colors here. I can try to turn the camera around so you guys can see it. I don't know how well you can see, but this is black, gray, navy, red, royal blue, silver, sun, 
Vegas gold and white. So it comes in a few different colors, but most of them are neutrals. So there's nothing like super exciting, um, no super exciting colors and extra, but I still think it's a good, I think it's a good product. And I have a feeling that it's probably gonna work a little bit better long-term on my umbrella. I'm thinking, that even though I have that easy weed on there, I would say, you know, once it gets opened and closed a bunch, it's probably going to wrinkle or maybe wear away, or maybe since the extra is better adhered to the nylon, maybe it will last a little bit longer. Um, so I can't promise that. I don't know. That's just my guess. Um, but I'll have to let you guys know on Facebook and Instagram how it does. So um, check the description in a few minutes. I don't have it linked down there yet, but um, follow me on social media if you want to hang out more often. But otherwise, unless you guys have any other questions, I really appreciate you stopping by my craft room. My name's Alex Vanover with Divine Design Crafts. It comes in Mickey colors, that's so true. You're welcome. Thanks so much for hanging out and stopping by. If you want to hang out more often, don't forget to subscribe to Divine Design Crafts. And oh, um, by the way, I'm going live tomorrow, um, probably around noon, maybe one o'clock with my mom. We are going to make a spring wreath for her house um, because my family is celebrating Easter tomorrow. So I'm going to Cincinnati and we're going to make a wreath in her basement. So that'll be fun. If you're on YouTube, make sure to come hang out and join us. And otherwise,